Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at MC Escher again and in particular his um, artwork where one hand draws another hand which draws another hand which draws another hand which creates this ongoing cycle of never-ending hand drawings. Um, I'll show you the one I mean. It's here so you can see that he's done it very carefully as a graphic design sort of art piece and what we're going to do we're going to use a drawing I did and we're going to add some photographs of hands and do a bit of color splash work on the pencils make the hands black and white etc so if i go over here you can see what i mean so basically you need a photograph of some hands i've drawn the hands in roughly so i've got an idea of where they're going to go you don't have to do all that much detail if you don't want you could just have the sleeves drawn to create your version so you need a piece of paper draw a picture and then the first thing we need to do is make this picture black and white. So we get adjustments and black and white and click OK. Then we are going to need to import and embed our photographs of the hands. Here's the first one. And here is the second one. So we're going to file, place embedded and bring in the second one as well. So we've got both of them straight away. Now you can see that we need to arrange them into the place where they need to go. So we can spin them around and put them roughly where they need to go to begin with. Make sure we're on the move tool and then move the hand roughly where we want it. Like so. I'm going to hide the top one and I'm going to work on this hand to begin with. We need to firstly rasterize the layer and we'll do that to both of them while we're here, so they're both rasterized, so there's the layer. We will need to select the subject of the layer, so we've just got the hand and not the background, so we're going to go select, subject, we'll get a nice flashing line around the hand, and if we want to bring in some of the shadow as well, which would look really nice, we will click on the plus icon, have it quite big with quite a soft edge to it, and then we can add in some of this shadow that will be useful when we are doing the editing later on. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to add a layer mask, like so, so you can see we've cut out most of what we want. While we're here, we're going to go to the Move tool again, move it to a better position, and rescale it because it's a bit too small. Rescale it a little bit so it fits the space that we want, like that. That's the first hand. We'll do the same thing to the second hand. So we will again use the select subject and it will select the subject. There isn't much shadow, but there's a little bit extra we need to add down with the paintbrushes. So we need to make this a bit smaller. If we get too much, we can use the minus to get rid of bits of it. Like so. And when we are totally happy, we will add our layer mask to this one. And you can see there's the second hand. And again, we will use the move tool to move it and rescale it, etc. So it's roughly where we want it. Now that's basically what we need to do. Then we need to do a lot of fine tuning. So to do it, this, I'm going to hide that layer I've just moved in. Click on the layer mask on this one. Go onto my paintbrush. Make sure I've got a soft round, very big, so about a thousand pixels round image. Click onto the layer mask here. Make sure the eye is I'm on the wrong layer. Click on the layer mask down here. And then start to fade out the bits of the arm that's going to be drawn in later on. Like so, fade it all out around here. And then I need to make my eraser a bit smaller so I can start to get rid of some of the shadow. Erase some of that out. It's a bit too strong around here. Make sure I've got it in line with the image up here. 
and then go a bit bigger again, fade in some of this, so it looks like a pencil drawing with the hand appearing out of it. Like so. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll just blend a little bit of this around here. A little bit of that in there. Like that. Okay, and I'll do the same thing on the other hand. So again, using the move tool to rescale the hand to roughly where we want it. Make it a little bit bigger. Bring it into the right place. Spin it round up. A little bit bigger still. Almost perfect there. And then again, using the, the paintbrush and the layer mask, so clicking on the layer mask, making sure on, on the right part, the right layer, the right layer mask, and I can start to fade out more or less to keep the idea that it has been drawn in. So it needs some of that there. And I need to move the hand down slightly, it's a bit too high up. Make it a little bit bigger. Like so, once I'm happy exactly where that is, I will then need to do the fine bit, final bit of work, which is to make the pencils as a colour splash. And the easiest way to do that is simply to duplicate the layer. Make the whole thing black and white, so image adjustments, black and white. And then on this layer, paint in a mask for where the paint pencil is. And you can see all the colour floods back into it. You can do that really carefully. Or if you want to make this life a bit easier, you can go to the layer with it and go select color range, click on the color, click OK. You'll then get everything you need. Use the paint bucket on this layer. <coughs> and it should... Be able to just paint back it in and you'll get the whole lot in one go. Control D. So you can see we've got the pencil there. We'll do the same thing to the last layer. So we'll duplicate that layer, click OK, go image adjustments, black and white. We'll go to the layer below, select the color range, click OK. Go to this mask and using the white, we will paint back of that in. Sorry, using the black, we will mask that in. So we've got our effect, and we'll just use the paintbrush really quickly on the end just to get the red bit back. Like so. And there is. An MC Escher style hand created with some photos and a drawing in Photoshop. Hope you've enjoyed watching today's tutorial. If you have, obviously pop over to the channel, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below if you've got any suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future. And obviously, um, have a good day. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.